In this question, we're dealing with inputs and outputs. Now, inputs, when you're given a function, is usually dealing with the x value, and an output is usually dealing with the y value. Our goal here is to use the x value right here, negative 3, as our input, figure out all the, uh, the outputs here, which would be the y values, and then just rank them from least to greatest. So let's go ahead and start with part A here. We're given y equals 2x minus 2. All we have to do is plug in negative 3 into this x value to get our y value, which is our output. So I'm going to start by writing y. And now I'm going to simplify. y equals 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 minus 2. Well, negative 6 minus 2 is going to be negative 8. So we have a negative 8 as an output. In part b, we're given another equation, so I'm going to input negative 3 into this equation. Now it's important to remember whenever we're squaring a negative number, like in this case, we want to put parentheses around it, because if you do this in a calculator and you do not use parentheses, there's a good chance it's going to give you a wrong answer. So now let's simplify. We've got y equals negative 3 squared is 9, and then 3 times negative 3 is negative 9, and then minus 1. Okay, now 9 minus 9 is 0, and then we're subtracting 1 at the end, so that my y is going to be a negative 1, and that's when we plugged in our input of negative 3. So this is another output. On to part C, just again, uh, once again we have another equation. Be careful to um, make sure that you don't just do minus 3 up here. Remember our input is a negative 3 and then we're also subtracting x. Okay, And then this plus 2 is on the bottom part, it's not a part of the exponent. So I'm going to simplify it. We've got y equals 3. Well, now a negative times a negative right here is going to be a positive. Okay, uh, now we we're going to do y equals 3 cubed is 27 plus 2. So finally, we have a y equals 29, and that's when x equals negative 3. So our output is 29. On to part D, and D might be the easier one of the first four. Now we remember, we want to figure out what our y equals, which is our output, when our x is negative 3, which is our input. So here we have x is negative 3, so I'm going to move up to my blue part of the graph, and it crosses the graph right here. So that's when x equals negative 3. Well, what is y equal? Well, move our cursor over here to the right, and it looks like it would be at y equals 1. So um, when x equals negative 3, say that, our y will be equal to positive 1. Okay, so that's our output right there, y equals 1. And then just like d is easy, I, I think that e is easy as well because we want to figure out again what our y, uh, I'm sorry, what our output is or our y value is when our input is negative 3 and our input is our x value, so here's our x values. This is going to be negative 3, so where, or what is our y value? That's going to be negative 5.5, so when x equals negative 3, our y is negative 5.5. So there's my output. Back to our directions, it says rank the output of the functions from least to greatest. So our smallest output, it looks like, is going to be part A. That was negative 8. Our next smallest is E. That was negative 5.5. Then our next smallest, I believe, was this one, part B. That was negative 1. And then we would go to D. That was y equals 1. And then our highest output is going to be uh, part C and that was 29. 